This week on the most fascinating show you've ever seen, Tips and Tricks, Five Tips for Burnout Paradise. We'll chat with Mixer Car... <sighs> You did. We'll chat with Mixer partner Covent. That's, that's kind of hard <laughs> to say, not going to lie. And, and Green School. We've got an MVP in the house, Green School, that's right. Oh, all this and more on this week's Tips and Tricks. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's just so, Very, he's so intimidating. I'm just always nervous. Are you? Yeah, <laughs> my heart's beating so fast right well, now. Well, with that, we should start the show, I guess. Yeah, welcome to Tips and Tricks, the number one show on all the internet, as rated by Ethan and I's moms. That's exactly That's right. A fact. I'm yep. Blake Prince. And I'm Ethan Rothamel. And this is the show that helps you get the most out of your gaming experience. That's right. We'll give you the tips on the latest features and tricks on tackling the newest games. No matter where you play. <laughs> this is our 42nd episode. It is. I, don't, I keep saying we're getting up there, but I guess that's never not going to be true. You can't say it the every numbers, show. That's right. Yeah. We're almost at our 50th, though. That's going to be are. exciting. What are we going to do special for that? I don't know. What are you supposed to do for your parents on their 50th? Maybe we do something similar? Just, like start paying for their caskets. <laughs> nice. Whoa. 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 I'll do the right. floral arrangements. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> awesome. So uh, how you been before we get into this? Just want to... Been good, man. Been good. It's been, a, it's been a busy weekend, and by that I mean I played about a zillion hours of Sea of Thieves. Yeah. Uh, slept a lot. Yeah. Much like you. I was yeah. like, I, you would have been so proud. I slept for like I 10 hours. I was very, very, very proud. Thank you. I'm very proud of that. <laughs> um, anyway, we got a packed show today, so we should probably just... All right, you want to dive, dive into it? Right into we can it. dive into it. Before, actually, actually, I just want to say a shout out to everybody in chat. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, uh, it's always good having you all here. Crayfish, we have Holy Jackie Tron. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, I think, PT Barpone was in here. Yeah, uh, it's a lot of good it's, peeps. It's great. Oh, I was reading the wrong list from a different channel. Hold on. Forget, <laughs> I'm in the ambassadors. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. But shout out to all of our tips and tricks viewers. That's great. Anyway, let's let's just keep keep the show going. Okay, yeah? should we? Because we I'm need to save the sinking ship as soon as possible. Let's do it. Okay. All right. First up, we have some new headphones in the house. That's right. As you can see right here. You can here. see right here. My band of white. There yeah. Ooh, this is good. These are the Plantronics Rig 400LX to help us uh, get a handle on all this tech. We have their gaming product manager on the phone. Please welcome Matthew. Everybody, give it up for Matthew. Matthew. Okay. What's up, man? Hey, guys. How are you guys doing today? Oh, I am just so well. Peachy keen. Yeah. How yes. are you? Um, Seems like I caught you guys in a good mood. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we're in a good mood. Every yeah. This is our best, favorite part of the show. I had like, week. yeah, it is. It's the best part of the week. Even yeah. if you have a tough Tuesday, you know, yeah. it's always fun to go do the show. I also hammer like four energy drinks prior yeah. just to be ready. Yeah. Okay. That's I want to go back to the last show where you say you don't actually drink energy. Yeah, drinks. that's true. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Matthew, thank you for stopping by. We're really excited to talk about the headphones here that we have. So thanks for stopping yeah, by. Yeah, no, definitely. So am I. All right, so can you give us a little background on, on Plantronics? Yeah, definitely. You know, it's uh, certainly a company that I don't think gets enough recognition for its long history in audio. It's been around since 1961. Mm -hmm. uh, little context, it was two guys in a garage in Santa Cruz who realized that the headsets that we're wearing from uh, when you're on an airplane, just too large and they wanted to go ahead and condense it. And so what do they do? They create this nifty uh, small device that allows the people that are flying airplanes to go ahead and use them. And then that's how the whole communications began. And then after that, they started making militarized headsets. They use them for aircraft carriers. And that technology began to transition into contact centers. And then we started transitioning into stereo products. And then boom, came along gaming. And then funny enough, you guys, of course, came out with Xbox. And shortly what followed after that, of course, was uh, Halo, Halo 2, and Microsoft had actually reached out to us to create a Halo 2 headset, and so we used one of our contacts in our headsets, so it was called a TriStar, and if people want to go ahead and Google it, it was actually a Halo 2 headset that we first developed, funny enough, Nice. and that's really where our roots began, and then from then on, we started developing a whole portfolio from there. Um, and we, of course, have this part that you guys are wearing right now, which is called the 400LX, Ooh. which I'm excited to showcase, right? Yeah, Malik's Extremely looking good. Extremely lightweight. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. <laughs> um, more importantly, it comes with this awesome little audio adapter. You probably see it on the package. I know you guys were talking to me earlier about how much you guys use it. Maybe you guys have it on stage. What's nifty about this thing? Yeah, if you're a hardcore gamer like I am and you want to be able to adjust volume or maybe you get one of those guys that are just – on stream screaming at the top of their lungs and you want to go ahead and mute them you have that chat game balancer and it's just a quick little dial so it makes it really easy rather than i think other solutions out there where you got to push the button like 20 times in order to mute them <laughs> yeah and in this case you just go ahead and slide it off and uh 
you get that troll uh, off your uh, off your headset. So. Yeah, it's kind yeah. of a nice touch, actually. Lots of trolls around. Yeah. Lots of trolls around. Did you get made fun of a lot, Malik? I, yeah, <laughs> but I, I, have a, I have a fake squeaker voice that I use to annoy people as well. So. Oh, nice. So you are a troll yeah, inherently. Exactly. Okay, great. 100%. But I like how you, uh, you went through the history. It's really interesting to see how far uh, Plantronics has come and like how it originally started as something completely different yeah. and transitioned into gaming. It's pretty cool. I had no idea, man. Yeah. And I feel like I feel like 50% of companies started with two guys in a garage these days. Yeah, <laughs> like, <man>. But that, <laughs> that is... It felt a little cliche saying it, but it definitely uh, is what it, happened. And no, it's it humble kind beginnings. Of an interesting career. Yeah, no funny. Yeah, it's yeah, really we cool. Start something. Okay. What would it be? I don't know. I don't know. I no Napkins. Clue. I don't know. Two guys in the it's a, it's an impulse that, decision. That's gonna be the new thing. What is it gonna <laughs> be? Two guys in the studio is gonna be go. the new thing. Two guys in the studio. <laughs> yeah. Started with two guys in the studio, and the rest is history. <laughs> the rest is history. That's right. <laughs> exactly. So Matthew, there are a bunch of things that uh, go into like a purchasing decision when you're looking for headphones. What are some of the things that differentiate Plantronics and uh, just headphones in general when people are looking to uh, to purchase some some head, head, headsets? <laughs> Sir, Words. <yeah>. <laughs> no, certainly. Um, I think um, when it comes with our headset, we wanted to really whiteboard this and think of it actually at first from sort of a PC perspective. So you, when you guys think of a PC, you think of modular components. So whenever you guys want to upgrade your hardware, you go ahead and switch one piece out for the other. And the rig is actually designed with that same sort of premise. So if you guys take a look at the headset that you're wearing right now, the modular frame, um, that you're wearing is actually you can remove the ear cups, you can remove the band, and you can oh. add pieces to it. Not only that, it's extremely flexible and lightweight, and we wanted to hold claim to that. As you get, I mean, you could really pull it. Like, if you want, you I'm could afraid. really I'm afraid. Like, bend I'm it. Afraid. Like, yeah. No, keep going. Keep, keep going. I tell oh, people all the oh, time, oh. You, you will not break it. I know. <laughs> okay. I know. It's cringeworthy. That's as far you, as I feel comfortable. It, yeah. <laughs> no, and I, and I understand that because... I think it, historically most gaming headsets, oh, you, you won't even go that far mm -hmm. and you already know that you're going to get a crack right down the middle and bam, you're going to be ordering a new headset. And we yeah. wanted this to be, yeah. I think what I use, rage worthy. So when you have gamers out there just <laughs> screaming at the top of their lungs and they want to throw the headset against the wall without breaking mm -hmm. it, that's that's rig. That's the kind of quality that we produce. So that's there's good. certainly that element. And it just being extremely comfortable, you guys. Yeah. I mean, gamers nowadays, it's like eight hours minimum. If you want to be a competitive esports player, you got to play at least eight, ten hours. Yeah. And to know you're going to be wearing the headset for that long is something that we really focus on. Uh, you know, I don't know what it is, but certainly uh, other gaming headsets out there are really heavy and bulky. Yeah. And I don't think that adds anything more than just maybe designer appeal. Mm. Uh, for us, it's really about feature first. That's cool, man. It's definitely they definitely look sturdy as hell. I will right. say, uh, I I would love to see an advertisement of, of you guys just cutting footage of people raging at gaming yeah. and just chucking these headsets <laughs> like, like at walls yeah. and stuff. Yeah, and what I'll say is that also I have I think the 600 uh, mm -hmm. version of this, and that I told you before the show started. That these are my headphones. The 600 are my he headphones that I use because they, like you mentioned, they're so light. It's you barely know that they're on your head, and mm -hmm. for me that's the most important thing. So I appreciate that being your uh, one of your top priorities. Yeah. yeah. So uh, these are my go-to, which are the 800s, completely wireless, as you guys could see. Oh, so, nice. Uh, yeah, no, definitely the headset of choice, and the 600 makes sense. They're the kind of headphones I'd, I'd certainly wear in public, and they almost disguise themselves as headphones. So that's kind of nice. Discreet. Uh, yeah. Can you talk a little bit about uh, Dolby Atmos for like the people that may not know about it? I see that these headphones come with uh, like the activation code, yeah. and I think a lot of people don't really know what that is yet. Yeah, no, definitely, and don't want to beat my chest too much on the Dolby Atmos thing, but it's certainly a privilege that we're able to be exclusive with them. Mm -hmm. um, so if you guys have known of Dolby in the past, they are done Dolby Stereo, then they came out with Dolby 5.1 and then 7.1, and now they got Dolby Atmos. So really, it, in a nutshell, the amount of channels increased, and then the content itself was also encoded to support those multi-channels. So think of where we originally started was stereo, left and right. Yeah. And that's informative. I mean, that's not terrible. I, there was actually a point in time, which is hard to imagine for the youth like us, that <laughs> there was only getting a single mono channel, right? And so you yeah. have no idea where gunfire was coming. You're playing Duke and you have no idea who's shooting you in what direction, right? And then as <laughs> technology has gotten improved, um, over time, we started adding more channels. So you know, hey, it's front left, it's back rear, it's front right and the channels increase. With Dolby Atmos, they took it to the next level. So rather than going to 13.1 or 15.1, they actually put the encoding on the developer and they said, hey, let's assign a sound to a particular object. So when you encode that game, 
Um, if you hear a helicopter that's like buzzing over your head, you're tracking it and it's following its entire way through where historically you're going from like front left to back rear. So you're seeing this sort of jump and gamers yeah. have somewhat of a idea where the sound is, but it's yeah. a hard time to track it. With Dolby Atmos, the way that it's encoded, it's gonna feel like it's really there. Like there's an actual helicopter buzzing right over your head. So they've, done, they've done a great job. That's I awesome. I, I love Dolby Atmos, man. Like it's yeah. it's a nice it's a nice touch. I've only gotten to play around with it like once or twice, and it is. Oh, yeah, there's a cool different. demo on the Xbox that once you get that activated, you can test it out, and it is really amazing. There's like a one where a baseball is like crashing through a window. It oh. is insane. Yeah, and then, yeah. And then Gears of War Four is another game that has Dolby Atmos, I yeah. believe, and that is an insane experience. Yeah, because the game is beautiful, but then it's extra immersion with the uh, with, with the, the audio. audio. Yeah, oh, that's sick. And when, when you when you talk to the uh, pros in Overwatch League when they're playing in console, you'll hear from them as well. It's just a must-have. They got to turn it on. It's one of the first games that had Dolby Atmos and the other cool thing is exclusive to Plantronics so it's $15 if you want to just purchase it on the Xbox one or you buy one of our headsets and we actually give you the code for free nice and that's it again exclusive to Plantronics that's really awesome Matthew nice. this has been amazing man like seriously a lot more informative and, and frankly a lot I didn't even know about the headset so like really appreciate your time first yeah, of all of like this has been awesome uh, where can we find yeah, what's no, the best place to find your products yeah, so we're everywhere, every mass retailer. So you can go to Best Buy, GameStop, uh, Walmart, has almost all our entire portfolio just featured there. Uh, more everywhere. importantly, you can find us online. So uh, there's plenty of avenues that, you, that gamers can go out and reach out. And the other great thing is we got great customer support. We're always constantly, you know, monitoring our Facebook feed. So if any of your guys' viewers out there have some specific questions, we typically do Reddit threads every now and then. So I know there's a lot of people out there. Audio is kind of one of those topics that isn't really disclosed very often. So it's great, like people like you who actually like, in, you know, interview people like myself that can kind of educate others into yeah. why we do what we do. So they can reach out to us in, in, in many different platforms. That's awesome, man. Thank, thanks again. And and they sent us a couple headsets over, so we're definitely going to test them out on uh, our yeah. show after this today. Right after this, yeah. LFG. But yep. Matthew, thank you so much for stopping by. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, really appreciate it. Everyone, yeah. give it up for Matthew. Give him a hand. Hey, thanks, <laughs> I appreciate it, you guys. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Keep producing good content. Thanks, oh, man. So oh. oh, he must have missed us flub every line in the yeah, intro of that because that, that so can't bad. be. <laughs> our, our stuff was so bad, but yeah, he is, great. he is great. That was awesome. Oh my god! All right, um, now I'm excited, man. We got yeah. a new headset to try out on the show after this. I'm excited about that. Yeah, we're gonna be playing a little A Way Out. Yeah, the game just released. It's yeah. EA Originals, which, by the way, before we jump into the next segment, EA Originals is fantastic. Which we talked about it a few weeks before. Yeah, but I didn't actually know that they give 100 percent of the uh, profit to to the, the game developer. Yeah, it's That's pretty awesome. It's a nice touch, man. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely nice. from EA. Yeah, seriously. Uh, I mean, I, I would agree. No, I totally agree with you, man. Yeah. It's definitely it's definitely uncharacteristic, and so I like uh, I like seeing things yeah. like that. And, I, and that game, I've been hearing a lot of good stuff, so I'm really excited to try it really out. Really excited to play it. Anyway, now it's time to pick up the pace. Ooh, what are you talking about? It's time to speed things up, Ethan. Are you making puns about our next segment? Whoa, Ethan. <laughs> Why well, you got to race to conclusions like that? Listen, we don't read these lines beforehand, so these are all surprises to us, and they are fantastic. You can make any excuse you want, but will you do me a solid and just tell them what the next segment is? Yeah, the next <laughs> it seems Ethan's getting tired of these jokes. Tabs wrote this. How do I take this headset off? Uh, <laughs> for those of you who aren't burnt out yet, here are five tips for Burnout Paradise Remastered. <laughs> Originally released in 2008, Burnout Paradise was a treasure from the start, sporting high-speed races, slow-motion crashes, and a huge roster of cars to choose from. Now, with the remastered re-release featuring Xbox One X enhancements, the high-speed collisions never looked so good. So with these five tips, we welcome you to Paradise City, where the drifts are clean and the speed's 250. Tip number one, blinker and streets. Most races in Burnout Paradise will take place across Paradise City, and if you want to win these races, you'll have to find the quickest path from point A to point B. If you're just sticking to the streets, you're going to cut the race close, especially if you don't know the best path to take. For those just getting familiar with the city, Burnout has a GPS system of sorts that will show you the fastest route to the finish. When racing toward an objective, you will see street signs on the top of your HUD that will indicate which street you are on and which street is coming up the street signs will begin flashing to show you the quickest route. You can also look toward your blinkers. Similar to the street signs, your blinker will also flash when you should make your next turn. Tip number two, 
D-pad menu. By pushing right on the D-pad, you can open up an extremely handy pop-up menu that allows you to access online game modes, burnout leaderboards, and even replay events. So if things are looking a little grim, you can use the D-pad menu to restart the event immediately, giving you a clean start. Tip number three, Showtime. Now we all know racing from point to point, dodging traffic and rivals can get a little repetitive. So if you want a change of pace, click in both bumpers to initiate Showtime. When in Showtime, your main goal is to smash. Smash as many cars as you can and wreak as much damage as possible while building up your multiplier. When crashing about, you'll have some control of which way you ricochet. As you hit more cars, you gain more boosts, and you can use your boosts to bounce around the streets even more, crashing from car to car. If you want to rack up some serious points, be sure to target buses. Your multiplier will increase with each bus damaged, sending your score sky high. Speaking of sky high, it may be fun to launch yourself into the air, but sadly, flying cars are still not present in the Burnout universe. Hover cars, yes, flying no. So to ensure you hit the most cars and gain the most points, keep yourself close to the ground. Tip number four, burning routes. After completing a few races, DJ Atomica will inform you of new drivers around the city. Taking on these drivers will earn you a smashing new ride. Now with each ride earned, be sure to take them out for a spin. Each Paradise car has a special race called a burning route. Completing these routes will award you a second version of that burning route's car. It's best to complete the burning routes with each new car you collect, so you can get a feel for each of them. Plus, completing these routes will slap another win on your license, so you've got nothing to lose. Tip number five, power parking. One of Burnout Paradise's toughest achievements isn't to complete a race nor to smash into signs. It's as simple as parallel parking. But Burnout has its own take on the maneuver, which they call power parking. To do this, you must find a street with at least two parked cars that you'll be able to fit between. Approach the empty spot at a considerable speed, then once you're close enough, slam your e-brake and twist yourself into the spot parallel with the other two cars, and the game will rate how well you did. If you can score that elusive 100%, you'll be awarded a lovely achievement. This skill isn't all that useful, so just like real life, do it once, then tell everyone you know that you're now an expert at it. Even though we haven't seen a proper Burnout title for over a decade, it's extremely refreshing to see Burnout Paradise on current generation hardware. Speeding down the streets of Paradise City and showtiming down busy highways is incredibly nostalgic. If you include the DLCs, which add motorcycles, Big Surf Island, and the Burnout Party mode, you're in for a fun time. So get racing, take out the competition, and find all the stunt jumps. Just make sure you have the speed to make the landing. <laughs> what you missed was Ethan, like 10 seconds of amazing dancing. Thank you. It's how I yeah. get warmed up. You know, you got to get excited for the show. You got to, you know, do a little dance. Make a little love. Well, get down <laughs> yeah. tonight. Get down tonight. Yeah. Okay. You're going nice. to get down tonight. Of course. Um, Let's talk about the news. Save That's us from cool. our improv That's and getting lovely. fired, huh? Yeah, I know. Okay. So <laughs> Far Cry 5, it came out today. today. Toss you this. Do you want it? Catch it. Oh, okay. You can do it. Ed, Ed's stealing our headset, so I guess we're not using it for the show. Okay. Uh, yeah, Far Cry 5 <laughs> came out today. That's right. Uh, yeah, now, I mean, check exciting. it out. Exciting, exciting. Yeah. Um, so this game is set in Montana, which yes. is the first time the series has been in the U.S., correct? Correct. You play as a dog? And correct. You do you play, yeah, you do not play as that dog. However, that dog can be your friend. And very adorable, I it's, might I add. You it's super cute. You can give it belly rubs. You can give it belly rubs. Yeah. He jumps up on you. He's like, <laughs> it's super cute. Gift that, that probably Gift wasn't. That. I don't oh, think. I don't no, think we weren't. We weren't, we weren't cutting to me. You just missed solid gold. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely solid gold. But yes, Far Cry Five. It, Far Cry is a huge series. Yeah. Um, and Ubisoft has really tried to make uh, something different, and the story is really sort of. It, it goes there. It's like on yeah, a it's very pretty, touchy subject, but right. I love that. Obviously, video games are an art, and so it's very important that you know you have some mature subject matter. Mm -hmm. And I really Most love definitely. where they're going with this. It's I do too, man. Dark, I, I, I think it's great. Um, one thing to cons like to think about, guys, is there. So this whole you can play the entire story co-op and you like if you want if you have someone to play with you it's totally worth it. it's a lot of fun uh but if you are playing co-op only the person that hosts gets the progression in their story mm, okay. and so people forget about that and so you just gotta you know you gotta play it on your own but yeah. like I, I i it came as a shock to me and i looked it up and it's in uh, plenty of news articles but who reads these yeah, days i don't read so something to think about yeah uh but yes the full game is co-op after the tutorial which is like a nice little addition uh, is, yeah. yeah and so you're you're, you're playing it currently 
I am. I just started. Love it. Really oh, big oh, fan. Yeah. I, I'm not uh, super far. I've only played like two hours or so. Not super far. Um, Anybody? Nice. Anybody? Nice. Yeah. Super far. <laughs> uh, but it did make me cry. Did it? Uh, no, I just wanted to get that pun. Uh, oh. Actually, oh. It, I won't give it away, but when you meet this dog for the first time, it's definitely sad. Uh, but like, it's it's very cute. Highly recommend it. In any case, totally check it out. It's it's Good a lot game. of fun. Yeah. All right. What so else are we talk about today, let's man? Let's move on. April Game Pass games are announced. And Ooh. this month, next month, we're going to have Robocraft. I thought something's going to come up. Probably not. There, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> uh, we have City Skylines, one of my favorite games. One I of my know. most played games of 2017. I saw that on the Game Pass, and I immediately was like, oh, Malik. Oh, you, you love me? <laughs> yeah, I thought of you. That's, oh, wow. That's, that's so sweet. All right. And, and uh, Kingdom New Lands, Portal Knights, and much more, like Late Shift. Ooh, that's it. Very interesting. Yeah, I don't know what that is, actually. Is. I don't know what that is anyway. But the Hunt, uh, Call of the Wild, that's actually more of a recent game. Like, that's, I don't even think that's been out a year yet, and wow. that's already on here. Uh, so if you like hunting games, it's really good. Um, the, they, they actually streamed a mixer, the dev streamed a mixer on that one, like mm -hmm. a bunch, and it's, it's been super fun to watch. I don't really? know. I played the Cabela games. I was one of that, those weird Ooh. guys. I grew up hunting. I don't weird. know. That's not um, weird. Yeah, and I feel bad about hurting animals in real life. So I was like, I'll just play video games. Virtually, you can do it, yeah. Yeah. Because that's not bad. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, Kingdom New Lands is also another game that really, like, people were super into. Uh, a little bit of an indie title. It's a very interesting uh, concept for a game, but it's like all kind of, you either go this way or you go this way. Oh, it's like and you build a kingdom. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Got yes, it. but I meant more of like <laughs> it's different than a traditional 2D game to, as Got well. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I did not mean to uh, bear you. I apologize. No, it's but fine. But I'll say uh, Xbox Game Pass, of course, <laughs> over 100 games for one low monthly price. Best value in gaming, in my opinion. I'd probably and Of is. course, see if these launched just a few days ago. A week, a actually. Week exactly a week. Well, that's still a few days, but sure. A week ago. And, is uh, seven a few? I don't know. State of Decay will be launching May 22nd, uh, day one, as well as Crackdown. All future Gears, Forza, and Halo games will be in Game Pass Day 1. Yeah. So it's a great value. It's the best value in gaming. It so is. Why not? It is. More is better. It's just math. It is. That's on the poster. Thanks, Dan. Uh, or uh, what's his name? Who's the actor that's on the poster? Uh, Ed, you know it. Uh, 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 Danny McBride. Thank you, Danny McBride. I don't even watch movies. He's so How good. How impressive is that? He's bound and down. He's bound and down, man. Okay. Uh, he's very funny. But I love, the, I love that commercial that came yeah. out when they announced Power. that. It's yeah, so Kenny good. Powers. That's right. Uh, yeah, so no, it's seriously great value. Uh, nine ninety nine for Sea of Thieves and State of Decay is dope. <laughs> Super dope. Yeah. All right, take us to the next one, Ethan. All right, so uh, you guys may have heard of this game, Hellblade, and I'm going to pronounce this wrong, Senua's Sacrifice. I think, I think right. it's Senua's. It looks right. uh, if you didn't play this game uh, last year, you totally missed out. It's freaking phenomenal. But for those of you that own an Xbox Ones and were unable to play it, it's coming. Mm -hmm. It's coming. And they're talking high frame rate mode, up to 60 frames per second, and high resolution mode, up to 4K. I think it's like one or the other kind of thing on sure. the Xbox One X That's Enhanced exciting. Edition. It's a great game, and, it, and it, it's a very interesting take on uh, mental health, uh, which oh. is very, very, very touchy topic as well, like yeah. um, really intense subject matter, to your point about Far Cry. Yeah. Um, but it, she's been, a, uh, the woman that played her, and I'm forgetting her name right now, she's been nominated for awards across the board. She won the, the game board. award. Remember? She did, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and honestly, it's truly, if you're into story-driven games, this is one of the best ones of last year. It was unreal. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah. I really want to try it out. But yeah, it was, her story is great, uh, the actor who won the, uh, the game award. Yeah. Because she was like, what was she, like a... a one of the motion caption artists. Right. She wasn't like actually an actor. Yeah. Yeah. It's insane. And in her first performance, she started winning awards. So it's like really good. You know, it's good for her. It's a really cool, really cool thing. Wow. Nice. Nice. Yeah. So pick it up. It'll be out soon. Yeah. Be, yeah I don't know if in they April. have a date yet. I think it's uh, April. Is it April? Okay. Yeah. So very soon. Actually. Yeah. Very soon. Holy hell. All, All right. right. All right. So now it's time to use the magic of Skype to connect with the Mixit partner. And this week we are connecting with Covent. Covent. There he is. Whoa. Covent. Covent. He's swimming I through the air. I feel like <laughs> I feel like you changed your shirt since we I did know. the test call. I would have noticed that shirt. Uh, I saw your shirt and I was like, listen, oh, listen. <laughs> hold my beer. I gotta show this guy I got a shirt game myself. <laughs> You do. That is actually dope as hell. I like beautiful. that shirt. Yeah. I knew you'd like it. I, I've <sighs> seen your game. Pax East, Pax mm -hmm. West. Your shirt game's on point. You and Thank Kiefer. You. That's high praise. Always fun. And mine oh is generic Always sexy. I will be ripping that shirt off your body if you bring it to East. Uh, but <laughs> we should dive into this interview. Yeah. Well, I want to say this is your second time being on the show. You were actually on our Pax yes. West show where yes. we had all the mix of partners here. That's right. So cool. Yeah. Uh, so thanks for stopping by and not being turned away by our madness. Yeah. Yeah, we oh, God. No, no. You guys are great. Um, I just got to say, uh, my mother also agrees and approves of this show. It's her <sighs> favorite show as nice. well. 
Yeah, we've we'll, been looking we'll for that. Three, well. three mothers agree. That's good. That's good. That, sh that should Pretty be good. the tagline. Three mothers agree. <laughs> Tips <laughs> yeah. and tricks is the three best three, show. Yeah. I love it, man. Uh, so obviously you have been on the show before, but uh, never, never so much as an in-depth interview is right now. Uh, so for people that great, don't great. know who you are, uh, why don't you give uh, viewers a quick rundown of what you're about, man? Oh, man. Uh, what am I about? My name is Covent. Um, if you don't know me, I am loud, obnoxious, hyper, fun. I laugh. I smile a lot. I'm an ex esports competitor turned into a loud mouth talker, <laughs> smart ass. That's me. <laughs> All you right. Know? Nice. And I like to wear cool shirts and drink a lot of coffee, you know? All right. That's pretty All good. Right. That's good. I like to call you the king of the late night because you're always on streaming late night. I, I jump in every, always, every once always. in a while and I lurk. But, yeah, you're always on playing that Fortnite, getting yeah, them like grind. victory royales. You're so good. <laughs> I, what, prefer, I prefer llama dinner, but continue. Llama dinner is yeah. good, too. <laughs> llama lunch. Oh, llama lunch. Oh, llama lunch. That's actually, even better. <laughs> I'm going to skip to that. What are some tips for Fortnite uh, that you can give me a poor, poor player who has poor, poor performance? <laughs> Uh, okay, okay. So this is a really common thing when it comes to Fortnite. I see this happen all the time. Okay. Don't just shoot the first guy you see. Okay. A lot of people are so trigger happy. They see a guy just running off in the woods like, you know, like a deer running through the woods. And they're like, oh, my God. And they just start shooting. Little do they know his three teammates are super slow behind him. And you just gave away your position. Mm. Don't get trigger happy. Play yeah. smart. Play slow. Pick your shots. Yeah, I love it. You Are know? you listening, Ethan? That's uh, whenever okay. you were teaching me how to play, you would always go aggressive. I'm like, Ethan, Listen. this is my first match. I can't keep I know. up, and I would be killed. And I you would go on to win or maybe not win because I'm not there. <laughs> I feel bad because that is true. But you got to understand something, man. Yeah. I've played a lot of those games, and mm -hmm. at some point, I just get bored and I have to try and kill everybody. Sure. That's fair. Um, That's fair. But yes, I am sorry. <laughs> that is okay. much better advice than anything I've ever said. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, fair enough. So um, obviously we just we were just talking about it, but Far Cry 5 is out. Have you uh, been oh, playing it? What are your thoughts? So, okay, so game is gorgeous, gorgeous. Mm. Um, it's just a feast for the eyes. Yeah. Absolute, uh, you could get lost in the world. It's something I haven't seen since uh, Witcher 3, Ooh. where you could just dive in, shut the doors, close the blinds, Wrap yourself up in a blanket and lose yourself in the world. Mm. If you like fishing, this game is a fishing simulator. <laughs> if you like hunting, this game is a hunting simulator. If you just want to drive around, there's millions of classic cars. Yeah. It's gorgeous. The story, now the story is, it's a little dark. It's a little intense, um, but I like it. You know, it's set in America for the first time, uh, the United States. And uh, it's really surreal because if you look around events going on today, this could happen. You know, this really could happen because the story seems like it's don't take my guns. <laughs> They're coming to take our guns. And then all hell break, breaks loose. Great game. Great Dude, game. Uh, totally yeah. recommend it. That's awesome, man. I, 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 I haven't gotten into it. Like I said earlier, I've only played a little bit and I've enjoyed it a lot so far. And so I, I, I've seen a, I've been trying to avoid like all streams because mm -hmm. I just don't want any of it spoiled. But like Far Cry, Far Cry has been doing well. Like the last few iterations have just been great. Like, it's been so yeah, great. like and, and I, three is my favorite. So I'm hoping that this will scratch that itch. Yeah. 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 No, I, I get it. I get it. And Three's um, my favorite. I like how you mentioned Coven. that. <laughs> I like how you mentioned that you can. Uh, it's like a simulator of different games. Like, yeah. who needs Forza Motorsport Seven when you could just drive in Far Cry Five? Well, well the cars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm kidding. We love Forza, of course. <laughs> no, I meant more of like I think the controls are a little different. Just a little bit. But no, it's just fine. A little bit. Um, yeah. So, and you have a pretty hardcore uh, fan base, Coven. I gotta say, I watch back our vods a lot, and I see in the chat there's always, not always, but there occasionally somebody in there like, when's Coven gonna be on? Yeah. So tell us what it's like to kind of be. Uh, part of a community that's so passionate about you and, and the games you play? Um, the biggest thing uh, when it comes to something like this, I tell a lot of up-and-coming streamers that to truly grow a community, you have to give them a piece of yourself. If you really want to grow a community, you take a piece of your heart not really, just, you know, a piece of your heart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. And you give it to your community, and you wear it on your sleeve, and you let them know that you really are here for them. Night and day, uh, you're not just a streamer. You're, I call them a family because we're, we're all a big, happy family together, you know, and uh, it, it feels really nice, you know. Um, it, it feels like there's always someone to care for you. And uh, my biggest thing is uh, I love food. And so I always tell people, add me on Snapchat and send me your food pics because I'm a foodie. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, 
It's nice. It, it feels really good. Uh, growing up as a little kid, I wish I had an escape like Mixer somewhere where I could escape and hang out and feel welcomed. You know, but I grew up uh, in the age of Pokemon and the Game Boy Color where my escape was my bedroom with the door locked, grinding my Pokemon yellow. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. if I had yeah. Mixer, I may have, you know, been more social with people. It's <laughs> sure. a good point. I also weep yeah. for the people that are going to get a heart in the mail after this interview or just like a chunk of it. Oh, you know, yes. God, like one person. Ooh, that's like, what the hell is this? Really weird. Really, really weird. Um, but to be fair, Pokemon are your friends, too. So nothing wrong with that. But yeah. I, I do get what you're saying. You, you get snapped for that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, Malik's certified snap. Certif that's a that's a verifiable. You can put it on like your stream. It's a I'll get it. Malik emote. snap certified. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Well, snap, um, counter. <laughs> snap counter. <laughs> exactly. I love so it. So obviously you stream a lot. You've been on here for a while on Mixer. Uh, what are some of the things that you've picked up um, on Mixer on the platform? Um, I mean, so far uh, the community aspect is why. I mean. Uh, as most people coming to Mixer, we were, you know, previously on Twitch or YouTube. Um, I was a Twitch streamer. And what I really, really enjoyed about switching over from Twitch to Mixer is just uh, all the partners. We're all, we're all homies. You know, all the partners are homies. We go to these events and we, we just hang out with each other. We do these big old food gatherings together and like you see staff gets involved. Uh, you see there, there is no separation, you know. We're all one big, you know, group of friends, especially when it comes to the, the mixer lounges. Uh, you know, you look at the other lounges and it's like, oh, you're not partnered. You stay out. But mixer, it's like, oh, come on in. Come on in. Get yourself some Doritos. Get an <laughs> apple. You know, you got Heather at the front door like, hey. Return that badge, but you can come right back. You can come right back. <laughs> Heather is like and the kids the just got like Red Bull stuffed in their pocket, you know. <laughs> Heather's like the mama mixer, man. She's always like yeah, everybody's yeah, yeah, known yeah. who she is since the very beginning, and she's always been like the nicest, so great, nicest person. Yeah. Yeah, and so that's why I'm super sad. I won't be going to Pexies. Oh, dude, I know. Oh, I'm We're sorry. gonna miss you. We're I know. Miss you. I appreciate that. Um, it's gonna be great. I will I say, I do want to call out Covent that, like, I, I like to laugh. I'm a fan of humor. Mm -hmm. And I will say that you are, like, you, for being as clean as you are, like, the Team Rage team, you are, like, one of the funniest guys uh, and super fun to watch. And I still forget, like, one of my favorite bits you ever did was, like, some kid, some troll came in your chat and was like, do you live with your mom? And you got so, like, loud and you were like, no, she lives with me. And, like, went on this huge <laughs> rant about your mother that was, like, uh, it was amazing, dude. I, uh. I should have taken notes. It was so good. But I've always wanted to, to yeah. yeah, you're funny dude. Funny dude. Mm -hmm. uh, real quick, I want to yeah. say uh, Burnout Paradise. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. So good. Oh, like, the new one? Okay. I just Third remember update? grinding that. Yeah. And if you guys caught a little little snippet of that last clip, you can drive the DeLorean from Back to the Future in Burnout Paradise. Just saying, uh, any Back to the Future fans out there. This guy right here. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't know that. Just. Just to drive the DeLorean, you know, it's oh, just saying. Yeah. Did you know I own a DeLorean? Or my family does? <laughs> like, <laughs> is that what you're bringing no, up? No, is that a fact? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, we still have it. Oh. We still have it. Dude, it's like, oh, I love so cool. Back to the Future. Yeah, it took us, like, it took it us took like seven years to rebuild or something like that. It was, it was like a totally a love. Mm. Like, we just love the movies, and it was like, why the hell not? Uh, so me and my wow. dad you worked on that. You took it to prom, didn't you? Yeah, we you did. Prom, I, did. Didn't you? I didn't, yeah, but I totally. I knew it. I knew it. You would. I totally didn't, but I, full disclosure, was sitting outside of where I got married. So everyone walking out, it said like just married on the front of the DeLorean. Oh, that's that's so 100% cool. that's true. So cool. wow. <laughs> anyway, yeah. But that. enough about me. Yeah, enough about you, Ethan. Okay. It's not about you. Yeah, fair just enough. Uh, so uh, are you watching any uh, new streamers or anything like that uh, that you want to give a shout out uh, that you think are worthy? Uh, man, um, I'm always flipping through. One of my favorite things, I definitely, uh, and this is really a shout I just really like uh, Hype Zone. Hype Zone so cool mm -hmm. because... Uh, I just get to lurk in there and then meet so many new streamers yeah. so quickly. It's like, you're cool. You're cool. Eh, you're all right. You're cool. Yeah. Um, I don't know. My favorite streamer to watch is Brittany. Um, she's my um, girlfriend. I love her. And right. so, uh, you know, gotta, you gotta, gotta love her, you know, gotta watch her. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, <laughs> cop out. <laughs> I believe she's in chat or maybe she's, she's actually know. behind the camera with a gun. <laughs> um, I'm there just, of course, just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Please right. help me for the love of God. No, that's awesome. And you guys are both a lot of fun to watch. That's right. Now it's time to get down to business. Glasses come off. They're not even prescription, Malik. I, it's fine. No it's one's called Halloween you out costume. yet. Okay. <laughs> Ethan, don't. <laughs> Let anyway, me just uh, so you. we have our standard tips and tricks question we ask to every partner. 
It's your turn, Coven. I hope you're ready. I hope you are ready. It's a big one. Um, it's not that not that intimidating. Anyway, if you could invite three video game characters to dinner, any three that you can think of, off the top of your head, who would they be and why? Oh, man. Uh, Master Chief, for sure. Ooh, okay. Because if anything gets out of hand, he's the bouncer. He bounces them out. Yeah. Uh, you got Link, because Link could tell you so many stories of adventure. And then you got uh, you got Mario. You know, you got you got the, the the three best group of friends that we could Ooh. go on adventures together, and uh, I just think it'd be a blast. Yeah. You know? mm, are they gonna be three best friends? I I feel like one is not like the others. Mario, Link, and then we have Master Chief. The old Master Chief. I don't know. I feel like you might stomp on one of them. You think accidentally? So? I don't know. If anyone's gonna stomp on anyone, it's Mario. That's like his whole oh, thing. That's a good point. He that's can jump point. pretty high. That's the thing. Yeah. yeah. Imagine him trying to stomp on thing. Master Chief. Yeah. Oh. Master Chief would just. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that is that is that's pretty good. That's a pretty good uh, yeah. three person list. Yeah, nice man. Mm -hmm. uh, God, we are just so off the rails at this point. That's uh, right. It's fine. <laughs> it's what our show is. It is truck on fire. Yeah, it is. We have like lines and then we go way off of yeah. them. Uh, Coven, uh, for people that don't know, once again, where where and when do you stream? Uh, I stream seven nights a week at uh, nine p.m. Eastern. Mixer.com/slash Covent. Everything: shooters, Fortnite, COD, Halo. Nice. Sea of Thieves, Far Cry. Ooh, nice, man. God, you're all over State the place. State of Decay 2. Ooh, ooh, God, I can't State wait. State of Decay, it's going to be so great. <laughs> I see. I get it. That, the go. subtle plug. I love it. <laughs> subtle. Uh, That's one way to describe well, that. Coven, we will see you at East. Thank you so much for being on the show, yes, man. This is awesome. Yes, thank That's you. Right. Thank you. Everyone I'd give blast. it up thank for you. Coven. Yeah, take it easy. Give it up, man. I'm glad Thanks, that Tabs, tabs uh, animal sounds came back. Well, at least somebody, you know. Yeah, yeah that was great. Uh, dude, Co Coven's always a treat. Thanks again for coming on the show, man. That was yeah. uh, a lot of fun. Yeah, and, and shout out to all of his uh, his viewers who are in chat. You, and some of them, like, they change their names to Coven. Like, they add their name in Coven at the end. So it's just, a, like I was saying, it's such a hardcore fan base. Uh, and that's, you know, kudos to him for, for sort of uh, fostering that. Yeah, totally, man. Yeah. Completely. Yeah, all right. Fantastic. We've had, we're, we ha we've had two interviews so far. That's right. Yeah, we've, we've talked about the news. What's next? It's time for our top five lists. Oh my God, top we never do these. Let's see the, uh, the emotes. Top sure five? Can use that emote. All right, first one on this list, or first list we're gonna talk about, mm -hmm. excuse me, is the top five paid games on the Microsoft Store. Mm -hmm. Coming in at number five, a surprising upset, it's Goat Simulator. Goat Sim, wow. A classic, an instant classic. Instant classic, interesting, I wonder why. <laughs> well, is there like a goat festival happening or something that would- Maybe it's a sale? I don't know. Probably that's probably a yeah. better, better practical. People answer. short on milk these days. I don't know. All <laughs> I know is a lot of people have always wanted to be a goat, and this game, you know, fulfills that. You uh, didn't want to be a goat growing up? Uh, no, I can't say that that's something I wanted to be. But you know what? Fair enough. No, <laughs> it seems like my whole life has been a you lie. You son of <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, number four it is a way out. Okay, interesting. Ooh. This game just came out um, four days ago, so yep. it's already charting on the list. Very excited to play it. As we mentioned earlier, yeah, we're we'll be playing it on Mixer LFG afterwards. What is the guy that created it? His name? Everyone knows. Uh, Joseph Ferris. Joseph Ferris. I'm not gonna lie. That looks like Joseph Ferris. Yep. It is. I, it, Joseph it, Ferris. Is it? Yeah. Is it his voice yeah. and everything? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, Moving on. You watch, the show for, you watch the show to get tips, and you, you, maybe you learned something you didn't know. I did. All right. just cracked. So that's great. Great. Number three, it is Fortnite. <laughs> of course. That's right. So that's, this is... Got to be the Founder's Edition if it's course. top five, right? That's right. Top five paid. This is the Founder's Edition, yeah. where you can fight against zombies. Or are these zombies? Yeah. I don't know what they are. They are zombies. Okay. Yeah, Why infected that zombies. Our, that didn't make our top five zombies list last week. Fortnite? Because I don't think it deserves to be in the top five. It's great. Don't get me wrong. That's I just don't think it deserves to be top five. No, I don't think it deserves to be right top right five. Right. It's, I, it's I a great game. It's not top five. That's fine. Ooh. And it looks like PUBG has been knocked off the top spot. It's number two. Whoa. Player knows Battlegrounds. The hell is number one? Oh, I bet I know. Yeah. Well, anything to say about PUBG? Uh, they announced some new skins that yeah. are coming to the PC test servers for the weapons, so that's pretty cool. They also have a, for one week, they had an eight-player mode, so everyone yeah. was in teams of eight. It was that? dope. Yeah, it was awesome. Really? If you can get a team that coordinated, it was so, it was just chaos. It was yeah. a blast. I love that they're starting to do that, um, and yeah. I've said this to so many people, but Fortnite is really pushing pushing PUBG to, to try new things. I know. So, it's a good thing. Yeah, it's, and it's then I think there was a video awesome. of the uh, the four uh, four by four kilometer map. That, oh, I didn't uh, see that. Yeah, either pictures or videos, but it, it looks really dope. So <sighs> That's exciting, man. Exciting. That's exciting. But you guys probably know what number one is. Let's be honest. It's We've been talking be about it forever. Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves. There it is. Boom. You've been playing a lot of I've been playing game. a sad amount of Sea of Thieves. Is, uh, that sad? is it not? No, own it. Like it's 10 hours a day? A game. I don't know. It's great. Yeah. It's like I am hooked. I don't know. It doesn't, you know, uh, some people are complaining like the lack of content at the launch, but I'm, I'm loving it, man. I've, yeah. I, I, I've always stayed in proximity chat, and I've made 
great friends. We've had like crazy fights. We've had I've like had people jump their whole ship onto our ship or their mm. whole crew on our ship, and we've sailed together as eight. Ooh. Like it was, su- it's been super fun. I don't know. I've I've loved every minute. I wish I wasn't so antisocial. Yeah, come on, come hang out, man. Okay, maybe. <laughs> okay, <All right. laughs> I, uh, I have a thing. Okay. That's always yeah, I, I have an appetite. Flake. Next up, it's the top five sellers on Steam. Ooh. Coming in at number five, it's Warhammer Vermintide 2. Oh, this makes sense. So very yeah. similar to Left 4 Dead style mm-hmm. of gameplay with combat, with, with, which is a race in, in Warhammer. Okay. Uh, and, and yeah, it focuses more on melee combat, okay. um, but there, there are a range of attacks and, uh, and things like that, but it's like you pick a class and then you fight okay. waves of enemies. Very similar, like I said, Left 4 Dead, but it's great. If you like the first one, which a lot of people did, very positive reviews. You'll like this one because it's much much more the same, but nice. improved in almost every aspect. Ooh, that's a Ethan's stamp of approval. I really it like, it. like it. I don't know. I dig like it, man. It. It's know. fun. Number four, it is Rocket League. I love this game. Is holding on. This game came out what three years ago? I know. That's insane. Mm-hmm. Um, but Rocket League, you know, it is a simple premise that pe- a lot of people can pick up and play. Yeah. And uh, but you can master it and be really good at it. It's great. And so man. that's probably why it's you know holding on. And honestly, it. it's longer if you count the first game just because the, all the maps are the same. Like mm-hmm. all the maps in the first game are in the second one, and, mm-hmm. and it's just like improved mechanics. We got to get your your uh, customary uh, pronunciation or enunciation of the actual title. Of the first one? Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> I do that every like time. The fifth time you I know, I do it every time. Oh, my God. There if you go. didn't, uh, did anyone play the first one? Because it was called The Best Name in the World. In the history of video games, it was only on PlayStation, and it was the best named game ever. All right. And that a, game what was. A build up. <sighs> my goodness. <sighs> okay. Supersonic Acrobatic Rocket Powered Battle Cars. That was good. And I still feel like that is a much better name than Rocket League, but I understand how they, w- this is just easier to remember. It would fit on the box. <laughs> it looks yeah, like you have would. to go on to number three. It's Nino Kuni mm-hmm. 2, Revenant Kingdom. This is uh, a JRPG, I assume. Uh, <laughs> well, no, I of know course, that it's a JRPG. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, you can look at the I box. Assume. Yeah, I get it. That's fair. Yeah. Um, if but you yeah. couldn't tell by the animation, you can also tell by the cat ears and dragon. That's right. JRPG. <laughs> now, that's, that's one way to describe it. Number two, PUBG. Um, and Boom. number one is going to be... Far Cry 5! Already up there. Wow. That's rad. Yeah, that's maybe already they update, made the list. Maybe they update their list more often. They we do. Probably, they probably do a lot faster, actually. Right. That's a good call out. Um, <laughs> same picture. I love the word just highlighting the dog because obviously the dog is best the best part, character. Yes, yeah, the best of part the of the game. Why not? Are you kidding me? And it's a blue healer, too. Oh, so I think. Good. I don't know what that means. That's, an, that's a breed of dog. Oh, yeah. okay. Nice. Well, there you have it. <laughs> Before we get into our f- last few lists, we want to know from you what you think should be our next top five list we covered. We have a few choices. Top five wacky sports games, which is never chosen. For no, it's never chosen. Top five arcade racers. And top five aw worthy games. I'm going to go for... I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to go so for. So top five aw, is that more like a aw, because someone's it's sad, or like aw, that's cute. What's the difference? Like oh, one is sad. more sad, like oh, uh, maybe or, cute. Or, Taurus uh, is cute. 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 All right, we're Sounds gonna go good. cute. All right, so place your votes. Your um, you have thirty five seconds. Thirty five seconds. Thirty five seconds. Jeez. Come on, now guys. Thirty four. Now thirty three. Let's move on. All right. All right. Last week you voted on this week's top five, and you picked the top five JRPGs. Uh, now Malik and I do not have a ex- a ton of experience mm. in the realm of JRPGs, so we solicited the help of many of our great producers. That's a fact. That's that a fact. That is a fact. So um, we probably won't have much to say, but. Still watch, because why not? No, Number no. five, it is Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger. There we a are. Classic. A classic. This is actually one I can speak to a little bit, but like more moreover, this is like this was the one of the first RPGs where it was like I don't know, had real depth. I I grew up in the nineties, so like it was so one I. of those. Wow, what a coincidence. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> Maybe some of you did too. But like this <laughs> game had so much depth as someone who was a young gamer, like when I when I first got my hands on it, my neighbor had it. Uh-huh. Uh it was just like it was like too much. It was like so much to process. Yeah. But it's like such a legendary title, man. Nice. And it's been redone and re released on different systems and I just feel like you have to have it on the list. That's Why Chrono not? Trigger, man. All right. Number four, I agree. Tales of Symphonia. Ooh. And this is the whole series, I think. Is the is the we have the mm. Tales of dot dot dot. Did you not want to spell it? <laughs> yeah, we'll it's too long. Oh, oh so okay, it's the so whole tales. So tales of blank. Got it. Got it. Yeah. So uh, maybe we can do some art analysis of its four people um, with different colored hair. Well, that's one of the games, but yeah. yeah. There you go. So <laughs> there you have it. Um, number three. Let's move on. It's Persona. Yeah, and we're talking about the series as well. That's right. Persona, uh, it's Persona's. I believe the premise is like you play school. as a student. Yeah, and then. By day you're a student, by night you're something else. Is that what it is? I don't know. Maybe tell us in chat if I'm wrong or if uh, I'm well. Clear. No, it's definitely a different RPG in the sense that it revolves much around a much more modern setting, whereas mm-hmm. like your you know Final Fantasies or anything else kind of 
kind of cater to like a fantasy aspect, mm-hmm. right? Well, yeah, it's in sure. the name, but you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, so, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a completely different experience. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Moving on, Kingdom Hearts 2. Yeah. Oops, oops, Kingdom Hearts is number two. That's right. And number one, Final Fantasy series. Uh, they kind of go together, right? Like, That's right. I mean, Kingdom Hearts was done by Square Enix, and it involves a bunch of the Final Fantasy characters. Yeah, so we it's put, cheating. Yeah, yeah, it does. We put Final Fantasy series, because everyone has, like, their favorite, and we mm. didn't want to pick one. Yours is I 10. Mean, Mine is 10. A lot of people say 7. Uh, many say 8. Uh, mm-hmm. It really just comes down to what you like because they're so different. And the character, if you can, whatever characters you resonate with, that tends to be your favorite one. Got it. Yeah. People um, love there characters. are also a couple terrible Final Fantasies that I wish we could name and then put on a different list that don't belong on that list, but whatever. Yeah. Fair enough. Anyway. Wow, you, oh, my goodness. You're Sorry. Very Fine. <laughs> uh, and we have an honorable mention is Earthbound. Of you course. Probably, you might have Ness. said that already. It's Ness. It's Ness? What mm-hmm. does that mean? Ness was from Earthbound. Ness is a mm. character of Super Smash um, Brothers. Got well, it. he's from Earthbound, but he was in Super Smash Brothers. It's like mm. telekinetic kid. Got I'm a learning, baseball bat. I'm learning something new every day. Yeah. Well, Earthbound didn't come out in America, I don't think, originally. Mm, that's why I missed it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mother 2. Mother 2. Ah. Uh, yeah. Got it. Got okay. it. Sounds Tabs good. is Tabs is dropping knowledge on He's me. dropping some serious knowledge. He Thank has you, more knowledge to drop. What are we covering PK next week? Fire. Game. <laughs> All right. I feel like I noticed a pattern. The one we talk about the most is the one that's the one that gets picked. Maybe we're influencing. This is uh, some weird stuff. Oh, worthy games. Yeah, there's a couple. Final Fantasy 13 on the worst list. I would agree with you. Final Fantasy 9, pretty bad too. Nine. Nine. It's okay. <clears throat> just, I need some just, water. It's fine. I promise I'm an adult. <laughs> All right. So let's move on. All right. Next up, something we've all been waiting for. He's not only an Xbox MVP and a mixer partner, but an all-around good guy. Aw. Please welcome to the stage, Dan, a.k.a. Green Skull. All right. Dan. Uh, <laughs> hey, let's see. Is. is that mic pack on? Is it? Yes, it is. Hopefully. Hopefully. We, just we, we sure hope so. Can we get a check? Yeah, hey, it is. My pocket. It is. This is fine. Yeah, PG. Oh, hey. Welcome to the show. We haven't good to see you, man. To I'd like to start by saying uh, my mother hates this show. Oh. oh. Why do you have to throw up a ratio? I'm sorry. That's reality. Three out of four mothers approved, then. That's the new tag. It has to be. Crap. Is that better than Kix? You know, Kix, which is kid tested mother mother approved. Oh, nice. What is the name is of that cereal? cereal? I don't know. Whatever. Right. It doesn't matter. Uh, Dan, how are you? Should yes. we call you Dan or Green Skull? Yes. What do you prefer? What do you want to call me? Mm-hmm. Dan Skull. Sir. Dan Skull. Call me Sir. sir. I'm not Ooh. calling you Sir. <laughs> not sir Green Skull. I can't do it. <laughs> um, anyway, let's let's kick it off. Green Skull or Dan or both. Or Dean oh. Skull. I like that. Uh, okay. Tell us a bit about yourself. I'm Green Skull. Okay. Uh, I've been gaming my whole life. Uh, I think I'm my earliest proof of gaming is I have a photo uh, mm-hmm. with my sister and I on a computer when I was three. Nice. Um, and yeah, so I'm just, um, she's pointing at something on the screen and I'm trying to navigate and I, I did. But I, I, <laughs> nice. I you did it. I learned problem solving from games like Doom and Duke Nukem <laughs> and stuff that I really shouldn't have been playing at that age. But, uh, <laughs> no, I remember my, my dad came in and he was like, just, you know, if there's any words that you don't know what they mean, ask us if you're allowed to say them. Oh. Right? And I, mean, I would just like, just repeat these words to him and he'd be like, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, okay, I guess I can't say that. Well, that's awesome, enough. man. At least yeah, you got to so. play them. I always had to go to my neighbors to play Doom because his dad had it, and oh. he wouldn't let us play, but he let us watch. Yeah. That was, <laughs> was terrific yeah. for me. That was yeah. terrific for me. One of my earliest gaming experiences was having my mom and my dad face off in Wave Race 64. Wow. Uh, yeah, and they both were terrible, obviously, because well. that's how parents are at video games, but or at least back then. But my dad won by default because my mom just went out of bounds. No, oh, nice. that was great. <laughs> Great story, Malik. <laughs> Side story. Moving on. Yeah, sure. Circling back to Dan, <laughs> uh, although I did like that story. Thank you. I appreciate uh, it. Why don't you talk about uh, a little bit of, what, of who yeah. you are to people that may not yeah, know. Yeah, sure. So I... I mean, that was, that was my origin. I mean, to start with the origin story. Yeah. That, mm-hmm. was, that was movie one. Of course. Right? Yeah, yeah, got it. Yeah. Start, right? um, yeah. yeah, and so... Um, when I was 14, that was kind of when I really started getting into all this Xbox stuff more mm-hmm. specifically. Mm-hmm. Uh, I went to, uh, I actually made like a bunch of different website communities. Uh, some that, you know, I rarely even ever talked about before because there's like <laughs> ones that just disappear. There's yeah. like forums on the internet and stuff. And uh, I just kind of kept jumping from another one and evolving them into, nice. uh, yeah, what, what became Ready Up Live today for me, nice. which is, a, you know, a community is now a Discord community. And even that is kind of ever changing. And I've been running that for almost 11 years now. Um, yeah, so I've known, it's, years? yeah, it's kind of crazy to know, like, I know some people at, at Microsoft since I was 14 years old. Oh, like, Major crazy. Nelson, I always say, uh, I yeah. met him when I was 14, and he was my hero, and I listened to his podcast and stuff, and it was just like, and you know, my dad had introduced me to him, because I was always freaked out. I'm like, oh, it's Major Nelson. Yeah, right, right, now, totally. You know, I saw him today, and yeah. it's like, I'm, we wrote up the elevator hey, you know, yeah. I'm still here, I'm still hanging That's out. That's right? so, so crazy, man. Yeah, you've, yeah. Been, you've been at it a lot longer than, like, I feel like most, at least most content creators that I've met. Yeah. Um, and so I think that's really cool that you've kind of stuck mm-hmm. with it for so long. Yeah. Um, and do you identify as a content creator, like yourself? 
Yeah. Um, I mean, there's a lot of terms. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Influencer is the one none of us like. Yeah, uh, right. It's mm. probably the most apt. Yeah. Uh, That's the marketing it's, yeah, term, it's I think. Certainly. It's <laughs> yeah. Because it's become more than just, you know, I create content. Cause right. Because, you know, what is social media? It's just kind of, you know, being on things like this, right? It's just yeah. like showing right. up to things. Like, that's not, I'm not necessarily creating content as much as being there, mm-hmm. helping with something. And, you know, yeah. it's, it's so much broader that sure. I wish there was a better word than influencer, but that's kind yeah. of what it is. But yeah, yeah I nice. guess I kind of agree with you, man. That's an interesting point. <laughs> yeah. So you are actually an Xbox MVP. Yes. That is a fact. I yeah. may know a thing or two about that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but what does that, what does being an Xbox MVP mean to you? Yeah, so it's, it's actually, you know, speaking of being 14 and kind of just wanting to do all this cool stuff and just yeah. be something more in the community, uh, I always looked up to the Xbox MVPs even at the time, like when mm-hmm. it, was, it was earlier in the program. Um, and I had some friends in the in the industry who were MVPs who were some of the people that really helped me along. Like, mm-hmm. they were, in fact, MVP. Who, they, most of them went on to work at Microsoft and such, but, yeah, uh, well. you know, they would, they would like, help me out with things. And I was like, these are just the coolest guys, right? Like, these guys are, like, are really helpful. They're friendly. They're something I, I aspire to. And so, nice. they yeah, they, that dragged me to the program. And so now, really, being a part of that and uh, helping as things at the end of the day, the things the MVPs want the most is to just help Xbox. Like it's not about us. It's really just about, Hey, we love this. We love Xbox. We love the community yeah. and we want to really just be part of it and make it the best it can be. That's right. And that's nice. I like that. That's, that's a, a, that's yeah. a, that's a <laughs> <laughs> well, you kind of walked through what the MVP program was a couple episodes ago that's and, right. and it was really great. Uh, but that was better. That was better. Uh, that but is not an insult. That, that was not, fact. that was great. That is the fact. So um, if you're curious, if you ever, you need to merge the two somehow. Yeah, got it. It's I, like I will. Perfect explanation i I love it thank you i appreciate it i'm out of here um (laughs) no so you're here for the xbox mvp summit uh can you talk a bit about what that is that you're here for so it it, you know it's it's a lot of nda stuff right it's a lot of secrets Mm -hmm, it's stuff mm -hmm. that you know we'll maybe talk about things that we may never be able to talk about again and that's just kind of the idea of being mvp is that we're aware we're getting into that and that you know we we never leak things, right? Like we're right. just like we are trusted with yeah. information, and that's just how it works. And yeah. we, because because the idea is that we help with that, right? That mm-hmm. we go, maybe it's not good to say this, right? Yeah. Like maybe yeah. that we we don't necessarily agree with that us because we have this very it's very diverse. Mm-hmm. MVPs are very diverse from different countries, from different backgrounds, different jobs. That like we have lawyers, or we have like psychologists, or like we yeah. have content creators. It's just this huge swath of people. That's um, awesome. And so, yeah, so really there's there's just kind of, it's actually pretty intensive when we're here. Uh, people wouldn't expect that. It's like, oh, it's all it fun is. games. But it's like, we have our fun moments, but yeah. it's, we're often very tired during those fun moments. <laughs> even if we had wake up early, it's all day yeah. long of yeah. meetings and talking to people and getting presentations. And right. we love it. It's a lot of fun. And we'll get into arguments with each other over it. But it's yeah, That's it's cool. great. It's fantastic. I mean, it sounds like a, it provides a ton of value. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm excited for it. This is my first year kind of being a part of it. So I am scared. <laughs> you're going to be fine, um, Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. All right. So you're also makes a streamer obviously yes so tell us a bit about how that compares to other other things that you do obviously you're on youtube yeah. and then other s- things like that tell us about what being on mixer means. yeah so the big thing about mixer is a community uh, mm-hmm. like without question uh, it's you know it's it, everybody champions it as that but it is legitimately true uh, and I, I believe ftl actually really helps with that because you're able to communicate you're really able to yeah. engage in a conversation with even a single person and yeah. that's something mm-hmm. interesting is that no matter how crazy your chat is and even if it's not and if you only have one viewer it doesn't matter it's just the idea that you can really have this back and forth every second counts in that because in yeah. a real world interaction uh, and you don't see this in movies and such like even like kind of right now like you, you talk over each other like that's right. that's how humans actually work like mm-hmm. you know, we, that's not portrayed in media but that's how it is and t- w- with ftl that can actually happen yeah is that you're talking and halfway through your response the guy you know the person you're talking to is responding to you as well and so mm-hmm. it's just a constant back and forth and that helps yeah create those communities yeah and it's like really closest, helps build it yeah it's like a closest to a human interaction yeah, right. that you can really get online yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, l- it's it's less about like watching. Oh, here's me. Here we go. Ooh. This is gonna be a good play. It's, it's gonna be me. We're gonna right. be. Oh, this is me falling off a building. Uh-oh. I'm still alive. Oh, this is good though. We uh, we may have won this game. Nice. <laughs> or the next one. Yeah, this is the eight player uh, PC oh, PUBG. Did it's you like player. it? Did it you? was crazy, was it right? Well, it was funny because uh, this was this was the game. So Mingus, this code Mingus guy. We had this whole team, and you can only uh, go in with four people. Okay. Uh, so you had to match with four people who are random. Oh, right? I didn't and know so that. Yes, yeah, so we all have our mics on. We're talking. This one guy, he goes off and runs. Middle of nowhere. <laughs> we, we somehow got seven people to work together, and we're like, Mingus, you're across the map. What are you doing? And he, I remember he, I'll, I'll never forget, he responded to us, well, I'm not really a team player. Oh, like, <laughs> Perhaps the wrong thing. Why are you doing in the, the <laughs> biggest team game on PUBG? <laughs> Mingus. And sure enough, at some point, he dies here. And we're like, oh, he sure, does. Of Good job, Mingus. Because it would have been awesome if he's the reason you won, but I. No, I he I died. We won, <laughs> after we won totally from won. skill, is how we won. Look, I don't think you even see it. Yeah, he's not here. Look, look at all these great people. Teamwork. Mingus is on the other side of the continent. Yeah, thanks, Mingus. <laughs> Mingus. Oh, yeah. man. What a guy. What, is God, going on? what a guy. I wonder what, what Mingus is up to today. Yeah, you know. <laughs> He's watching right now. He's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. The, soul, the solo chat. Get it together. 
gather here. mingus. <laughs> um, for so, real. So you've been playing uh, Sea of Thieves, Far Cry 5? What yep. else have you been playing? Yep. Yes. 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 All, all of it. Yes. All, all of it. All of it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's got to, there was, at some point in my life, I used to be very much a completionist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> at some point in my life, I was like, it's just not feasible. Especially as a streamer, it's really, yeah. really hard to be completionist. I think especially when you jump on trends. Yeah, exactly. And you become an adult, and there's so much crap you have to do. There's other stuff you got to do. And so. It's like, yeah, I want to be. So when I finish a game, that means I really loved that game. I really. Yeah, that's so, pretty cool, man. Yeah, a lot yeah. of Sea of Thieves, though. Oh yeah, you've having been... a blast. You have? Oh, oh that's oh, so awesome. I, yeah, I love. I haven't been able to play it yet because I'm moving, and so I, I, I haven't had any 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 time. I was I was described as like the most common game, like, except when it's not. Mm. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty good example. Are you talking about Sea of Thieves? Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a very common game. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's but like then uh, it's not. Yeah, but then yeah. it's coming again. Yeah. <laughs> I love the. I don't know. It's a, it's it's the human. The the story is in the the human interaction. Yeah, it's yeah. your story. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Ex exactly. Yeah. Which is That's crazy. A good yeah. It's your story. Well, yeah. I mean, there's the. Uh, I was streaming on Mixer when it happened. The I did a 19 hour stream when the game came out, and uh, we we had our Kraken moment. Uh, oh, you so, did? Yeah. So it was it was, uh, it was fantastic. There oh was a God. we had a friend who was in my chat. He was watching mm -hmm. uh, while playing. Yeah. Which is see if this is great for doing something like that, like watching a stream and playing along. And he yeah. says he's like, guys, I'm in the brig. I've been here for an hour. Uh, they want to kick me, but I'm not leaving the brig. So he's like, I'm just going to stay in here. And then he's like, guys, I'm going down. Something's happening. <laughs> right? He's like, there's weird noises, and I don't know what's happening. And he got teleported to the top, and he's like, there's tentacles everywhere. I don't know what is happening. And it pulled down the boat. And we're like, man, I am so we've been playing for 13 hours, yeah. and we haven't seen a Kraken. And you see it within your first hour. You haven't even played oh. the game. You're stuck in the brig, and you see the Kraken. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> oh As God. we're saying this, the water goes dark. And we're oh. like, no, oh, it happened. Sick. So because we were talking about it, we're like, we're prepared, right? Yeah. We're all like manning the cannons, and we took them down. We beat the Kraken. That's like our, awesome. Our first experience. Like that it's like, so it dope. could not have been better timing. I'm yeah, envious. I, I've been playing, like I said, I've been playing like 10, uh, not 10 hours a day, but like five to eight hours yeah. a day, and I have not seen it. Yeah. I, and I, I am Again, 13 hours, so. And like the rumor, yeah. okay, fair enough. And the rumor is like, if you have more treasure on the boat, that might so. do. We, I, don't I don't think so either. I think we had maybe one chest. Okay, because mm -hmm. we loaded ours up. Like we have, yeah. we had like 25 yeah. like skulls, chests, a bunch of stuff, and nothing. Yeah. So I don't. But know. I like it being unpredictable. Like it is dope. Yeah. You don't want it to like, like a just random. Pop up and you hours. want it to happen rare enough that it's it's always fun. Yeah. And it's yeah. yeah. 100. Yeah. percent You want it to happen rare enough. I can't believe we didn't call me out on that. By they the make oh. the game. Whoa! He they did. It. They did. It, it happened. What? Oh, Dan. Dean Skull. Yes. Green Skull. Yeah. All it's right. been an honor. But hold on. We have a oh, little. Thank you for coming on the show today. Oh Ooh. But no. before you get it, you have to answer two out of these three questions correct. I'm not gonna. I know. Or we're giving it to someone else. Okay. Well, someone's gonna get this. So the pressure's on. Got it. Um, so here, you don't look at the questions. Does it say the answer? Right? No, I don't think it does. But <laughs> does. Is the answer in the prompter? No, no, hell no. So hopefully okay. you get them. Uh, number one. <laughs> oh, no. Well, oh, here's the prize. You oh. get a HyperX Hyper Fury S Pro Gaming mouse pad. Ooh, I love that you had to read that right off the box. But yeah. that is a long name. Tell me more. I, 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 I don't disagree. A HyperX Fury S Pro Gaming mouse pad. How was I not supposed to read that? I, I know. That is, it was nowhere else. That is too Where long, HyperX. Uh, I came from HyperX. Yeah. Yeah. So... What is? Can I walk across Mas like a <laughs> Master Chief's first name? John. That's correct. <laughs> Next. That is, that is correct. <laughs> what game did Halo Three Beta, the Beta? Crackdown. Okay. Next. Okay. <sighs> Here's a question that you hope to have answered. Let's make it a full thing. When is Halo Six coming out? Ugh. Ugh. Didn't there work. Go. Didn't there work. Go. All right. So, well, I think those were the three questions, Yesterday, and you got. You missed it. I missed it. Oh, did you know Halo 6, is the subtitles, the sub uh, title is going to be Malik? Yeah, it's Halo 6. I talked Halo to Franco, 6 Malik. I talked to Franco, Con Franco Connor at, uh, at the uh, Extra Life stream. That's right. And he said, yeah, it has a good ring to it. So I'm just going to say that's what's going to be called. Mm -hmm. He just leaked that information. <laughs> he yeah. did? It was on stream. It was he maleeked it. He maleeked it. Whoa. This show. Oh. <laughs> now stop. Stop. Uh, I'm here all week. This show <laughs> needs to end right good. now. Um, <laughs> so we have a quick question real quick. Aquarius. Real quickly. Next. <laughs> Tim Hortons or Krispy Kreme? Are you serious? You're, you're from Canada. So. Are you, is, this, is this a joke question? <laughs> How dare no, you? Real. Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons. Ugh. There you go. Timmy's. I will give this to you. There you go. But I'd go with Krispy Kreme. Oh, it's Ooh, really nice, though. It's a big go. mouse pad. There you go. Dan has won his mouse pad, and you all did not. Yeah. It's like the, the size of me. Oh, Dan, thanks again, man. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for having oh, me. Oh, when do you stream? Yeah. yeah. You guys, yoga mat. You could. Oh, you could use point. it you as guys, yoga mat. I was preparing. You didn't ask me my favorite, the same the streamer oh, question. Oh, yeah. my favorite, uh, God. All right. Characters oh. for dinner. I got an answer. Okay, Just what's your answer? It. Just ask a question. Okay. If you could invite any three video game characters to dinner, who would they be? And Toad from Mario. Really? The spider from Limbo and Lightning McQueen. 
Uh, from cars? Yep. <laughs> okay. I wish I could say that was he a good got list, hands. How is he going to eat? <laughs> you know. It's going to be an awesome it's more food. And then you got a big spider. That I don't know if it's 3D. Spider's it's got like eight a 2D spider. But Spider's got That's eight weird. arms. And then Toad's just a weird guy. So yeah. it would be, yeah. be the best dinner you've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Thanks mm -hmm. for having me. It'd be memorable. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Yeah. Appreciate it. Give it, give it Let's up give it up for Dan. Go. Give it up for Dan. Dan Greenskull. There you go. See, Dan oh, off stage. That was great. That was great. That was good. Yeah, we learned about Xbox MVPs. We learned about streaming. We learned mm -hmm. about a whole bunch of things. Yeah, we did. Ooh, Including, I like that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. A whole bunch of things. Uh, we, uh, that was a, f it was a full show, you guys. Yeah, so we thanks didn't for get to everything. We didn't, we didn't. Yeah. We had more to talk about, but we're, we're running out of time. We have to play a way out with our new headsets next. That's right. So thanks for visiting us. Of course, be sure to give us a follow right there above my head. Hit the follow button, because if you don't, uh, there's going to be a monster under your bed. So there you go. Uh, you'll get a notification <laughs> when we go live as well so that's yes the spider yes from limbo. it's the spider, spider from limbo is exactly. actually under your head Ooh. on the xbox support channel on youtube oh go to the xbox support channel on youtube to watch hilarious videos of malik and they are hilarious uh be sure to check out our next episode of tips and tricks next and every tuesday at 6 p.m eastern 3 p.m pacific that's right um but stay right here because Ethan and I are going to play a way out on Mixer LFG. So, of course, you can go to Mixer.com slash Mixer LFG, or you can stay right there. Go grab some popcorn, grab a piece of cake, mm -hmm. grab some, I don't know, olives or something like that, yeah. and come back because we're going to be hosting the channel right here. We are. So, olives, because why not? Yeah, olives are great. They're absolutely disgusting. I don't know why I said that. Oh. Um, so don't touch the remote. We'll be right back. Bye. Bye.